Simon's making a game from the... What's that called again? The tutorial that Daniel Schiffman had? Maze Generator? Simon? Yeah. It's based on Daniel Schiffman's Maze Generator, but now it's a game. But the button doesn't really work yet. Right? Ooh. Ooh. Is there still a mistake? <laughs> Come There's on! There's a bug somewhere. the bug. Do you have any idea? Uh, I was going to say minus 10. And say x minus 10 and y plus 10. I was going to Actually, never mind. Never mind. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know why this origin problem is, is no way to solve it. Aww. But, uh, whatever. But is it possible to make the buttons work? I don't know. But me, I, me? I, thi I, th I think it's not. Oh. There, I think there is no way. Hmm. But any reasonable person would click click it somewhere else. You know. I'm just gonna click it. And so maybe, but what yeah, if you okay. what if you make it what if you make it responsive to the mouse, the green thing itself, the green square? No, no, if then it's going to be too fast. Oh, okay. It's going to be too okay. fast. Uh, wrecked. You know, X plus 10 or something. Y plus 10. This one's 20. Minus twenty. So there's no way. Is this a zone where it kind of works? I think that's it. But you can't go up. Yeah, so I'm just gonna... Let's 
से इफ करेंट्स प्लेयर then the then if g1 dot up dot hovered g1 dot person x Percent x e uh, minus 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 right oh, that, that person y sorry person, then person x plus plus. Then person Y plus plus is down is hazard. So you're now conditioning it to hover and not to click. Yeah, but this will actually work. Okay. I'm going to see why in a second. This should be my space. It's working. This is so cool. But you can jump yes. through the wall. Oh, you can you can jump through the walls. That's not the. Oh. But you, you can still work it because you can pretty much yourself decide where the wall is. And you want it to absolutely not be able to go through the walls. So there. Yeah. Yeah. So so. Everything's done except for two things. Actually, there's really three things. But, okay. But I know what the first two things are. So first, here go the frog. <laughs> ah, here it goes. Here it goes. Here, here, here goes the maze walker. Here goes the walker. Walker, <laughs> my walker's gone. <laughs> so, so. So let's just constrain it. When, so let's actually just constrain it. So I'm just going to say... Pers, person X equals constrain... Person X zero columns minus one. Columns oh ma maze. Right, the actual maze in it. And person Y constrain that. Twenty zero and makes up rows minus one. Something that here. Now it's too constrained. Oh yeah, it's constrained, but try to the right. Try moving to the right. Oh look! Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's but I put it in the wrong I'm reaching the finish. It's not I'm gonna working. win! It's not working! <laughs> oh.
But it can't go down. You constrained it, right? Yeah, but I constrained it to the wrong place, maybe. Okay, let's just be smart about this. Right? I'm trying to. I'm not constrict. I'm gonna put some X. That, that's it. Okay. I'm still getting that error. Let, let, let's go off the bottom edge now and see if that works. It's still walking through the walls. It's still walking through the walls, I know. But. I'm back. I just, I just want to, in a separate video. Yeah, well, we should probably give you some time to think about it, right? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. And, uh... What? I'm just going to make the how-to. No, not now. <laughs> Why?